And this is just one way to do this, right? Now, I want to show you guys something. There's a rule here in our directions that I want to show you. It says that we must have a clearance at our worst case of 0 0.01 or 10,000. So that's, that's the thickness of two pieces of paper all the way ar around our part between the base and the clamp in the worst case scenario. So we're going to add 10,000 space all the way around it where it might touch a clamp once we make it the largest or the smallest or move it toward the clamp. So right now we're line to line with the clamp, but we don't have that 10,000 space. So let's put the space in after. If I were to activate this base part, if I were to make this base the worst case, let's talk about the um, overall width of the base. Let's talk about this three inch dimension right here. Is it better or worse when it gets larger, gets wider? Does it interfere when it gets wider or it gets more narrow? I need feedback here. So I have a tolerance that I can add or subtract. It could either be 3.02 Like that. Is that my worst case? Or my worst case is interfering. So what's going to make it interfere? Making it wider or making it more narrow? Right now. Yeah, if I make it wider. So I want to show you guys a trick. Not that. I want to show you guys a trick. And I made this little calculation sheet thing. So if you have a positive feature, if you add the tolerance, you're going to make it wider, right? You're going to make it larger. You're going to make it the maximum material condition would be the widest that could be, which would be 3.02. So at the widest, if it goes wider, it's going to be at its maximum material condition. So let's just see what that looks like. I'm going to get rid of that because I keep bringing it up. Okay. So let's say we make this 3.02. So if it goes wide, if this thing goes wider, I'm going to interfere. And that's the widest it can get is 3.02. We can add or subtract 0.02, right? So I want to go to my widest so that I move my clamp away. I'm focusing on my base right now, making it the worst case. And I want to see the visual of my clamp around it. So I'm going to put a dimension in here. Stop that. I don't want to do that yet. Let me hit escape here. Let's see if I can take that off from being driven. Let's make this 3.02. Let's say it's three plus the tolerance is 3.02. So that just tells me the wide, the widest it's going to be. I know my V clamp is going to be at least 3.02 wide. It's not going to be three, right? Because that's, that's the widest it can get with its tolerance of 0.02. All right. So now with these notches, with these, notches right here that are 0.38. This is actually a negative space. So does the part weigh more when this gets smaller or gets taller? When I take more material away or when I leave more material in it? Smaller. Yeah, because think about this like a whole. Um, the the part. So if we're line to line right here with this foot that comes around from this clamp. All right, we're line to line with this clamp. 
So am I going to interfere when I go down or when I go up? So it may be a little bit hard to see. Let me see if I can do something with this clamp. I'm going to do this. Now let's do this. Let's go back. And let's go into the sketch. So you guys can see the clamp. So would it so if we were line to line right here with this little notch for the clamp to slip in, the little foot of the of the clamp, would it be would it be our worst case? So this is 0 0.38. And it's measured from the bottom, right? It's 0.38. So if this dimension got smaller, let me do this. If this dimension got smaller, would it be the worst case? Or if the dimension got larger, making that notch taller? I've got a void right here, yes. So as this gets smaller, we're going to interfere, right? You see it's 0.36. So I want you guys to see something, and I don't know if this is relating, but at 0.36, that would be our 0.38 minus 0.02. That would be our smallest it could be. At 0.36, that's my worst case scenario over here. But when you have a negative feature, which is this little notch right here, let me zoom in over here. That's a negative feature. You take a material out. When you go to a negative feature, you take the, you subtract the tolerance. It's a negative feature, so you subtract. In a positive feature, you add. So if I have a negative space for this little foot and it's 0.38, my maximum material condition, I would subtract the 0 0.02 and get to 0 0.36. So if you look at this, that's my worst case scenario. If I go to 0.36 right there, I'm interfering. So my MMC in getting larger for my positive feature over here would make it interfere. And the MMC of a negative feature makes it interfere here too. So I'm seeing that my MMC is my worst case with this inside part. So if I'm, I'm just going to change this one. I'm going to take it off being driven. And so on my base part from 0.38, my worst scenario is 0.36. Because that interferes, right? I went to the widest here. I went to the shortest here and it's interfering with my clamp. And that was at the, that was at the same dimension that we started, which is three and 0.38. So if I go down to 0.36 on my base, I'm interfering. All right, now we've got these other things. We've got this notch right here. And this notch is dimensioned from the outside. It's 0.25. That's nominal, right? It's 0.25. So it could get to 0.27. So let me turn this to driven. If I drag this out, I'm not interfering anymore. So if it gets bigger, it's not going to interfere. If I So if I, that would be adding the tolerance, right? It would go to 0.27. If I subtract the tolerance and make it smaller, it's going to interfere. So I'm going to subtract the tolerance from this one and make that 0.23, which is also the MMC. So we go 0.25 minus 0.02 is 0.23. And we're interfering. 
We're interfering in height. We're interfering in the width of this little notch. My foot is already, you know, it's, it's interfering. The width is interfering. And let's talk about the height. Well, what I have to do, I want to tell you the height. If I went to the tallest this could be, I'm going to add tolerance to the 0.88 and the 0.38 to make them the tallest, right? That's going to be my worst case. So my worst case is that it comes up here and it's interfering where this fillet comes around. So it's actually the location of where that fillet starts on my clamp. And if I'm at 2.26, I'm just like line to line. But if I go, I'm going to take this off driven and I'm going to add up. If I go to the high side of 1.88, it's 1.9 plus the tallest this foot can be now it adds in my height. So it's 0 0.38 plus 0 0.02 is 0 0.4. I'm already interfering here. I'm interfering with where that arc starts. So that's my worst case. Now, if I have the worst case, and that's all I'm really worried about. I'm not worried about the V or the T or anything. If I finish this up, now I'm interfering. Now I'm going to go back to my clamp here, and I'm going to move my clamp away from that part. i got to go to at least what that part is. So I'm going to go to 3.02, which is the MMC of the width. Now I'm line to line again. And I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go to 0.23. don't know if that's controlling this. Looks like it is. 0.23 here. And right here, I'm going to 2.3. Let me see what's happening here. Be clamp base. I'm going to turn the sketch off on the base. I can't tell what I'm doing in the clamp now. Let's see. Okay. So we have 0.23 here. We're line to line. We're 0.38 here. That's not what it was. We're going to go down to 0 0.36. That was our worst case in our base, right? So we're overlapping. You see that? And this goes to 0.23. This goes to 3.02. And now let's see if we have any interference. Here's this part. Here's this part. We're line to line again. So I'm just making it line to line. Now what I need to do is I need to get that 10 thousandths overall. So I'm going to go back into this part and into its sketch. Now I need to move this so that I have 10,000 space here, 10,000 space here, 10,000 space here. So if I make this driven, if I make this taller, am I getting more space? Or do I get that 10,000 when I make it shorter? It needs to get smaller to move away from the base part. So I was at 0.36. Now I'm going to subtract 0 0.01 space to make that shorter. I've got at the worst case of the base, now I have 10,000 space on that. Let's make sure that happened on the other side, and it did. All right, on this one, this has to, does this get smaller? I'm going to make this reference. If I move this, 
Something. And I'm going to make this reference. Okay. So now, I grab this point, move this, am I interfering? Do I need to make this larger or do I need to make it smaller to get my space? I was at 0.23. Right? You see? That went smaller. So now I have space. So I'm not going to add, add 0.01. I'm going to subtract it. So I'm just going to subtract 0 0.01 for space. In my clamp right here, I'm at 2.26. But we came up with 2.30. So I need to stretch this up to be line to line in my worst case of the height. Now I'm line to line with my worst case of the height of my base. So do I need to make this larger, taller, or do I need to make it shorter to get 10,000 space up here? It got larger, this gets smaller. If it gets smaller, it's going to interfere right here. Do you see that? So I need to grow my clamp. I need to grow my clamp up. And it's hard to remember what you're doing now. Yeah. So in the clamp, it just has to get bigger. And this gets smaller. And this gets shorter. And this gets wider. So you have to think about positive and negative. You know, I like to look at it and move it back and forth and see, oh, am I making that bigger or smaller? Am I adding or subtracting? So I'm going to add a tolerance here. I'm going to add that space, I mean. So what were we at? 2.30. So I'm going to add my 0 0.01 to make that space of 10,000 all the way around it. Plus 0 0.01. So there's 2.31 right there. I've got space there. I've got, oh, I don't have space in my width. Now, if this is an overall width, I have to add 10 thousandths plus 10 thousandths. So 10 thousandths each side. So let's change this to driven. Is this going to give me space if I make this smaller or larger? Do I add or subtract to get my space? I'm going to make my clamp wider, so I'm going to add. All right, so I'm going to add 0 0.01 plus 0 0.01 each side, so I'm going to add 0 0.02. And there we go. So now I have 10,000 space. I had to make the base the worst case to start with. Then I make my clamp line to line. Then I start moving my clamp away from the base, either adding or subtracting. Over here, we had to subtract to make this shorter to move away from the base. We had to make this shorter here, too, to move away from the base. The base is the purple part. I had to move this. Since this dimension came from the side, I had to make that a lesser dimension. This one came from the bottom. I had to make that smaller. But the overall width I made wider. The overall height of the start of this fillet I made taller. So these are the numbers that we're going to start with. Okay? Now, if I add, if I use these dimensions and I use the same tolerance, if I subtract 0.02, I'm right back where I started. So I'm going to show you guys real quick, and I'm almost finished. And I'm going to give you these dimensions, but I'm going to show you how I got to this part. I have my calculations here, and I just want to show it to you. And there's there's kind of a, a rhyme, to, there's a rule to this reason. So with the width of the base, to get to our worst case, we added our tolerance to get to 3.02 we got to the widest from here to here for the base right 
And in the height, we added our tolerances to make the base the tallest. And in the notch width here, to make that move toward the clamp, we subtracted because it was dimensioned from here. So it made that the smallest. And the notch height, we moved the notch in the base down toward the clamp to make that the shortest. So we're always moving the interior part toward the exterior part we're trying to design to find the worst case. And in some, some cases, we subtracted. So let's talk about how we get from these worst case scenarios on our base to our dimensions on our part, on our clamp. So the notch width right here, what is this? Uh, let's go to, let's go for the overall width right here. We have 3.02 plus 0.02 each side was 3.04 space, right? But if you use plus minus 0.02 tolerance and you subtract 0.02 from this, we lose our space. So here's the deal. To get to the middle or the nominal dimension that we always model to, you know, if it's a plus minus tolerance, we're in the middle. We have to, if we add space to get to a better scenario, we're going to add half that tolerance to get to the middle. So if I come up with 3.02, which is the worst case of my width here, plus my space, I'm going to add half the tolerance plus 0.02 to get to 3.06. For the nominal dimension width of this clamp right here from side to side. Because if it is 3.06 and I add 0.02, it goes to 3.08. That's great. But if I subtract 0.02, it goes back to 3.04, which will give me my worst case of my base plus my space. So we have to, the general rule here is whatever we came up with in our models is great, but we have to get to a nominal dimension by adding the tolerance or if we subtract it over here to get space, we have to subtract our tolerance to move further away. So essentially we're moving our part further away, either by making it larger by half the tolerance or making it smaller to get to the mean or the average, the middle of the number. So this is what I'm talking about. So right here, if I use plus minus 0.02 on this one, so if I subtract 0.02, I'm line to line again. So I can't do that. I can't use a 3.04, right? I have to add half of the tolerance. So this is my space. If I add space, I'm going to add the tolerance. Point. Two. That gets to 3.06. So if I, I have plus or minus 0.02, if I subtract 0.02, it gets to 3.04, and I've still got space on each side in my worst case scenario. But in our clamp, we have a dimension from here to here, you guys. Not this way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this. And are we in this sketch? Yeah? Okay. So how do we get to this number? Right here. So I'm right here. We have 2.62. How do we get to that? I don't see that being 10,000 space. That should have been 0.23, right? It was 0.23. Minus 0 0.01 to get us the space. What was it at 0 0.23? Did 
That doesn't look too bad. I think we have 10,000 space right there. I think this part is not right. We're going to use this right here. So when we're going from side to side, what I had to do is take the overall width of 3.02. The worst case of the width, minus 0.23, minus 0.23, because they want us to go from here to here. So I got back to 2.56. That's how I got to that number. So it's 3.02 minus 0.23 minus 0.23 gives me this dimension right here. Is 2.56 on the base. So if I add 0 0.01 to each side, that gets me to 2.58. If I'm adding the space, I'm going to add the tolerance. We get to 2.60. So I'm going to put that in. And that's correct. 2.60. So we should be 30 thousandths away from that on each side. So if we add 0 0.02 on this, then it's going to grow toward it. All right. I'm going to make this reference. And that will be a hard call out. And on the height, we have 10 thousandths, but we have not gotten to our nominal dimension yet. So if I subtract 0.02, I'm going to be interfering already. So I'm going to add, that's, if I add for my space, I'm going to add for my tolerance to get back to the middle. So our numbers are 3.06, 2.6, 2.33. And this one only has 10 thousandths. So we have to sub we subtracted for our space here. We have to subtract for our tolerance. We subtracted for space to move away from that part, minus 0 0.02. So if you are moving away from the part with the space by subtracting, I'm going to move further away to get to nominal. And that will be 0.33. Now, if I go to the high side, I guarantee you we're going to have 10,000 space all the way around at our worst case scenario on the clamp and our worst case scenario on the base. And this is what someone has to do when they give you a drawing. So for you to follow directions is imperative. Where things are dimensioned from and to and what their precision is because these are all calculated. All right. So what I'm going to show you guys right now, I'm going to stop this recording, and I know I've gone over time already, but what I'm going to show you real quick is I'm going to show you that um, I have these dimensions for you, and all you have to do is model this. Thank you for sitting with me a little bit. I'm going to try and make that somewhat easier to understand somehow. Uh, I try to stretch that stuff and, and help see if you can see it. It's just hard to, it's hard to understand your first time. So we have to make this the widest or the biggest all over before we start line to line with this. Then we make this big move away by 0 0.01. Then we have to add or subtract the tolerance to get to the middle because remember our three is the middle right here and when we found our worst case and we had our ten thousandths we were not at the middle we were either at the high or the low so you add half this to get to the middle so we either add it half the tolerance, or we subtracted it, depending on what we did to move away with our spacing. And that's how we got to our numbers. So I'm going to show you guys, um, just go right here to Inventor, and I'm going to close this.
And I'm going to go back to the V clamp. I'm going to open my V clamp part. Now it's a little bit hard to do if you don't have your fillets in here to dimension this that way. So what I'm going to do is put in some fillets. Radius of one in my sketch. Now I normally don't ever do this because it leaves all kinds of weird stuff in my in my drawing. You see this? This is like the end results of my of my uh, rectangles. So let me zoom in here. Okay, now I'm going to dimension this to be 3.8 there. And then I'm going to dimension, put the dimensions in that we have for this, and I'm going to pull those up. Um, let me pull those up. So I'm giving you those dimensions. I've given it to you in your, um, in your assignment in Blackboard. These are the numbers that we're going to use. And these are nominal numbers for our worst case scenario. Let me see if I can drag this in. Stop. Oh, tell you what, I'll show you something. Uh, I just wanted to finish this. <sighs> Open with paint. There we go. Okay. So let's put these dimensions in. We have four overall. We have 3.06 from inside to inside. Three point zero six from inside of the foot to the inside of the foot. Two point six zero. All right, the height of the feet are point three three at nominal. And the height to the center of our fillet, the inside fillet, is 2.33 nominal. And that means the middle of the tolerance in this case. We have four fillets with a radius of one. Why does nothing think that it is? Uh, maybe I need to put symmetry in here now since I've gotten rid of my rectangles. All right, and so that's going to be my part. I have to go in here and figure out what other dimensions are missing. But I'll do that. That's one. Uh, this collinear. Okay. Now it's fully constrained. I'm going to hit E for extrude. I want you to extrude this symmetrically. Just like the other one. Uh oh. I'm going to make it go back and forth so that my sketch plane, the XY plane, is right in the middle. This will be one inch deep. And say so, okay. And now I'm going to make a hole on this top. So H, this is very important. This is something that you might not have ever done before. So I'm just going to touch on the top. I'm going to go to my sketch. Now, how do I put this in without dimensions? How do I always make it be at the midpoint, always at the midpoint here? 
I'm going to vertically align the center of this hole with the midpoint of this top. And I'm going to horizontally align the midpoint of this hole with the midpoint of the depth. That will always, and you see it's fully constrained. So no matter how wide this gets, no matter how deep this gets, this will always be in the middle. And it does not need dimensions because we're going to have symmetry horizontally and vertically. Now I'm going to return to the hole. This is a half inch hole. I don't know why we're using a uh, coarse thread, half 13 UNC. It goes through wall because it does not interfere with anything. We don't have any problems with that. And we'll say, okay. And now I'm going to give this uh, 102107 hot rolled steel again. Yes. And I'm going to give this a different color. That is so horrible. Okay. So I want you to have both of your parts modeled. And if you go to Blackboard, and you go down here and look in each of your parts. Here are the calculation videos. Here are the marked up input sheets, the model base and the clamp. There's the base. Here's the clamp with the dimensions I just gave you. All right? So you don't have to worry about all those calculations. And I'm sorry if I confused you guys. It is the hardest thing to do online. Um, so there's the base and the clamp. I want you to model those and be ready for your assembly inventor file. We're going to make an assembly next time when you come in. Thank you guys for your attention.